Alright ladies, we're going to now try another page in our um, altered art book. And last month someone had asked me about um, transfers. How they're done, is it easy, is it hard? Um, and so coincidentally, uh, a few months ago when I was at the library, they had this book for for sale in their little um, gift shop there, and it, it was just for 50 cents. So I said, ha-ha, I'm going to get this. So there's a lot of good information in this book about different types of image transfers. Uh, for those of you that are already familiar with them, you know that there's endless ways to do the transfers. Those of you that are new to the concept of image transfer, um, basically what it is, is for instance, here is an eye. And there's all kinds of ways to get this eye onto this piece of paper and have this image transfer over here. Endless kinds of ways. For instance, um, here in let's see it talks about one way is using glues and mediums another way is using heat then you can also use solvents and just all different types of ways I mean it's a big book <laughs> 120 some pages and it's full of different techniques of doing transfers all right so, my reason for doing um, these series of videos are to help people who aren't familiar with certain techniques um, to give them some tools to try and do it. And for those of you that are already familiar with it, maybe you can take it a step further or maybe you just haven't done it in a long time. All right. Now, there are different things out in the market. Um that are considered image transfer mediums and there's like I say all different companies have their own idea of um, the best image transfer medium now the truth be told they're all pretty much the same because all you're doing is talking about glue really that's all you're doing and of course just as you know the, the different glues on the market there are better glues than others there are some that adhere better some that are more fluid some that are thicker so there is a difference in glues but the bottom line is is all these medium transfer I mean all these <laughs> image transfer mediums are basic different types of glue so keep that in mind also if you stop and think You've probably already done image transfers already when you didn't want to. How many times have maybe you put a magazine down and you put maybe a white envelope on top of it and it got damp or it was in the sun and all kind of baked and got gooey and they glued together, you try to pull it off and whatever was on your magazine is now on your white envelope. Ta-da! You've already done image transfer. And what happened was when your papers got heated up or wet it reactivated whatever type of medium or glue that was on one or the other pieces of paper when they dried they were stuck and it transferred your image so that's pretty much in simple simple terms what it's all about all right now um most people have either like elmer's glue because we're talking about not going out and buying something, we almost everybody has either Elmer's glue or Mod Podge, and almost everybody has some kind of either large packing tape or just a little small tape. All of those can be used to create a type of a image transfer, and we'll go through um, those. Um, steps of how those are done. For instance, let's, let's put that over there. 
let's go to the simplest, simplest, simplest thing we could do. Um, let me find something here. Okay, see this little image right here? It's an eye with some trees. Now, I like the old tape. Remember the tape that would get all yellow and it didn't have this frosty kind of film. It really, really was see-through. I can't even find that kind of tape anymore. But anyway, if you guys can find that kind of tape, I even looked at the dollar store. All their tape looks like this. Okay. But here is a very simple way to do a transfer. Now, this particular technique works best on paper that is non-glossy. You know, just the... Uh, like newspaper print type and older books because it just has the ink and it's just sitting on top so you put that on there you burnish it and when you pull it away you're basically going to take the image with you I didn't do a very good job but that's the idea the image comes off and then you can put it somewhere else you can glue it down and you've transferred your image all right. Now, when it comes to this, the way that you can make a transfer out of this, let me find something. Let me get one of these eyeballs. Well, maybe I'll just get this one. What you can do with this is you put your tape right over there and you burnish it down really good and then when what you do with that is let me just cut the excess off you get a dish with some warm water cup or a bowl, I should say. Dish isn't going to help. <laughs> you can't keep water in a dish. Get a bowl or something after you burnish this down really good and put it in the warm water until all of this becomes soft. And then I'll show you later what we'll do, but basically you're just going to rub all of the paper off and what's going to stay stuck to the tape is the ink and it's going to be your image and then it'll become sort of like a de decal all right that's another type of transfer all right then whoops another way of doing a transfer which um let me find what I, which one I want to use let me use this one here. It's blue. What you do is you get your Mod Podge. And real simply, you're going to put several coats. Two or three. And you're going to let each coat thoroughly dry. I wouldn't suggest putting the, um, you know, heating it with a heating tool because I tried that one time and it kind of bubbles. <laughs> Maybe I just put it too close, but, um, you know, this stuff dries really fast. So let it dry naturally and then put two more coats. So you'll have a total of three coats, okay? And I did one ahead of time. Right here. These right here have, I think, about three coats of the Mod Podge, okay? Oh, and here's another one that I did. So 
So we've got these three. And then what I'll do is then um, one of my pages in the book. I already, I already glued my, um, my three pages together. If you've been following the first two videos, you know that to make it a little sturdier and a little more firm, we glue three pages together to create our page. If you want, if you haven't seen the other two, you can go back and see how we do that. All right. So what I'm going to do with this now to transfer it over is we're just going to put some more Mod Podge. Here. And then we're going to put this on like that. And then we're just going to burnish it down. Now, when we do this, you know, some of the Mod Podge might ooze out. Make sure that you clean that and don't bring it back. Like if I go like this and I have some on there, don't go back over there because later on what we're going to be doing is rubbing this paper off of the page and leaving just the print and if we've put glue up on here then it's going to make it harder to get the paper off because we like done the double whammy on it so we don't want to put the excess glue back up on here all right so you just make sure that that is down really good And I think this one is pretty good down there. And we let this dry. And you have to let it dry for a couple hours. I would suggest you let it dry overnight just so that you don't have any chance <laughs> of it not being dry. So we'll let these dry. Oh, I really put that one straight, didn't I? <laughs> uh, not good, Rosemary. And just make sure, the reason we try to make sure this has total contact, because the only part that's going to transfer is what is actually touching the paper. So if we have bubbles, obviously that is not going to transfer. Okay, so that one's down. And I have another one. It doesn't fit there. Well, we'll just save that for another time. All right, so we've got those. We're gonna let these dry completely and then once they're dry, then we'll come back and take off that paper and it will expose the transfer. Okay, another technique. Let me... Okay. Um, one second. I got to get some... I thought I brought some, but I didn't. I have to go get some paper. Okay. I just want to put that on here because then we're going to work on another page and then we'll let everything dry. All right, so now another technique that you can use is now you know how much trouble we have sometimes if we do and we paint something like in our art journal. 
and then it's not totally dry if you close it and what happens it just all sticks together and when you try to rip it apart one half is on the other side and it's a big old mess so another technique is just using acrylic uh, paints because they are very very sticky so I'm sure everybody has some acrylic paints and let's go ahead and try that method and see how that works out for us. Let me clean out my brush. Okay, now this technique is pretty cool when you use black and white. Now I had done some printing a while back and it just got all messed up but um, it has lines and everything. Well, the transfer doesn't matter because it's going to be distressed a little bit. So, look at your image and I can see right through that because remember, it's going to go upside down. Figure out what is going where and how you want to position it and then imagine where you want some colors on here and you paint it on here and then when this transfers over it, it just gives it a really cool look. You'll understand once we actually physically do it. Okay, so over here you've got this post. Alright, so let's say I'm going to paint it some kind of, uh, let me get some, I've never used these paints. <laughs> Notice I'm doing firsts with you guys. We're going to learn together. These are Tim Holtz Distressed Paint. But it does say it's acrylic. And it says it's fluid, which is good because we want it to stay wet. I need time to paint this and put some paint on this and then lay it down. So we don't want it to dry up really fast because that will mess us up. Ooh, that is pretty fluid. Okay. When they say fluid, they mean it. All right. Okay, so this, okay. let's just get this over to this edge. And this will look pretty cool. And we want it's going to be light. Let's just put some here in the corner. Well, a little bit of balance. Let's put a little bit here in the corner. Right there. And let's see how close we get to the earring. <laughs> Okay, right there. All right, and then oh, what else? Let's put the rest of it will be in a lighter green because you want to cover up everywhere that you want the transfer to transfer to. Very cool. All right. And then, if you want any contrast to that, then you put it on the actual page. So, what I'm going to do, I have to do it off camera. I'm going to put some of this coral on her dress. I'll show you in a second. And we'll see what happens.
Okay, so I put it on her dress, I put a little bit on her lips, I put a tiny bit there and a little bit there. And <laughs> here we go. So we will put that right there. And the same thing as we did before. Make sure we've made contact. Whoa, that was really fluid. Look at that. Coming out over, oozing out. Make sure we don't get any paint on the top, because again, that's going to serve like glue. And we don't want that. Oops, I just did. <laughs> Stop it, Rosemary. Okay. All right. And this is a little too easy. Okay. All right. So we're going to leave this to dry. So we have a lot of things drying. Okay, now, another thing we can try is if you end up liking this process, there is another one, because, you know, this has to dry, and then you got to take all the paper stuff off, and, you know, it, it is a process. It's not difficult, it's just very time-consuming. But there is a product, um, many of you are already familiar with Golden. They have fluid matte medium, not just the regular matte medium, but the fluid matte medium. And let me show you what this puppy does. Hold on, I'm going to have to get my other book. Whoops. Because I'm working on two of these altered books at the same time. Oops, i got a bunch of stuff here. Another project that we'll be doing in the future. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not going to work on that, though. Well, no. I'm not going to do it on there. I think I forgot to put my pages together. So let's go ahead and do that. For those that haven't been around to... This is what I mean by gluing your pages together. And it's done very quickly. Okay. Put this here. Whoops. Put this here as a marker because all we do is close the book. Open it up. Another page. And close it up. Okay, so that side is done. Now, it says, I've tried it with both laser print, I've done it with inkjet, and I haven't done it with a magazine. So this is going to be a test. <laughs> We're going to do the first together. All right. Now, what we do with this, this matte medium... is, let me get it open, shake it up for 
first. I haven't used this in a long time. easy enough. All right. So what you do is you put this all over the page and you put a healthy coat. You don't want to overdo it, but you do want to make it kind of uniform. See, I'm creating all those lines. I should have gotten a bigger brush. And on your final coat, make sure you're going in the same, same direction. Okay, I think that is plenty. And then what you do... Get the writing off. Oops. Put this down. And burnish it down again. Okay, now, if this works the way it's supposed to, oh, I don't have my phone, let me see, I got mine. Okay, you're only supposed to have to wait a minute to a minute and a half, and this will start to transfer. We shall see. We'll be the judge of that. Let me put the cover of this back on. And we will see if it works. Alright, so, whoops, my thing went off. Great. Okay. While we're waiting, I wanted to <laughs> tell you about goodness. Wait a second. These days I can't talk and, and do anything. It's two things at one time. Alright, let me get this lid on. Well, I finally got over my flu. Ended up turning into bronchitis, but I'm all pretty good about that. My husband ended up getting sick, and his turned into pneumonia. So we were a fine pair. Um, <laughs> trying to, to help each other. <laughs> Meanwhile, we had bad weather, and then we've got four dogs, and we got to, you know, have the dogs go in and out and wipe them off because it was raining and getting muddy and all. Oh, it was a mess. But we got through it. He's better. I'm better. Um, I still have a little bit of a cough. So does he. But whatever this, and we didn't even have the flu. We had a regular old cold that you know got worse but it wasn't the flu I can't even imagine those people that I've gotten the actual flu it was horrible okay I think it's been one minute 
I think. <laughs> okay, so let me... Uh-oh. I think we have to wait because everything is coming up I think <laughs> this might be totally edited out <laughs> oh it's working over here so let's wait I just jumped the gun hold on Oh, I want to let you know that my last video we did, I got thumbs down on my video. Now, what's really sad about the thumbs down is that these are private videos. They're not on um, the public on YouTube. The only people that can watch these videos are those that are in our trashy group. So, I've got people in my group that even though I was like sicker than a dog trying to make a video... Um, trying to have fun, try to encourage you guys, and they still gave me a thumbs down. So whoever you are in the group, thanks a lot. <laughs> I hope nobody kicks you when you're down. Okay, I think this is working, so let's wait a little bit. But oh well. You can't please everybody. Don't even try. off okay it's been way over two minutes so let's see what's happening and like I said I haven't <laughs> I haven't done it with this before and maybe there's a reason why I haven't done it with this <laughs> okay, let's see. Because the whole thing about this one is you're not supposed to have to wait that long. Maybe I put too much on.
it's coming off. You can see it's a little tedious. But no matter what you use as the base for your transfer, you know, you still have to take all this off. This particular process um, is just instant gratification. You don't have to wait till it all dries <laughs> overnight. Pretty cool. My finger's getting sore. It's getting tired. <laughs> Very cool, don't you think, people? I like this. All right, so out of all the things that I've used, I think that um, this is the quickest, this is the easiest. Um, I think that, you know, these image transfer mediums are just glorified Mod Podge, you know, because you do the same thing, you leave it just as long, you take it off. You know, it takes that much time. The only product that I have found that is actually different is the one I just used on here, which is your fluid matte medium. This works very quickly. I left it on there for about two, two and a half minutes. And as you can tell, it was ready to go. Now, as this dries, you're going to see every, you know, every so often you're going to see this little white cloud. That represents paper that still has not been removed. Uh, I'm just going to let it all kind of dry a little bit because I don't want to overdo it and maybe take off the ink. So um, I'll come back after this is all dry and hit the spots where um, there is still some of the, um, the pulp from the paper. But as you can see, I hope you can see, she transferred over really quite well. If I had put her on a totally white background, she would be, whoops, now see, She's coming up. It's coming up a little bit. I'm, I'm pushing it. She would, um, you would see her even more clearly. But because I put her on top of the text, um, everything's going through. Which that's what I like. I think that's pretty cool, like that. All right. So that is with the a uh, fluid. Let me show you one more time. This is with the Golden Fluid Matte Medium. All right. So then we'll come back once those other ones are dry. And we'll do the same process that we did on this to expose the transfer on those papers. Okay. So it is the next day. And I started taking the paper backing off of this particular one. Um, as I was doing it, I could you can see here that there are places I missed. This is an example of me not making um, direct contact on the entire picture. Now back here is all this lumpy stuff <laughs> from the uh, glue gun experiment and I think that's probably why it didn't um, make good, um, you know, connection. What I would suggest, if you have a page similar to that, 
hold on here. If you ever have a page similar to that, then I would get like a piece of cardboard and place it so that you have a flat surface. I should have done that and then when I burnished it down, then it would have made full contact. So that was my fault in all these lumpy things. All right. On this side, I didn't have all the lumpiness, so let's see what excuse I can come up with <laughs> why this one it doesn't adhere. But I started it, and it looks like um, it should be okay. Now, this is the one where we put the Mod Podge on it and put several layers and then came back in and put some Mod Podge on the page and then glued it down. Now this looks like it's a lot better than the other side because I did have that um, that flat surface to work with. So this is how we learn. I'm not going to show you just the good stuff. I'm going to show you the mistakes so you can avoid the mistakes that I do. Now see right here, it's coming up a little bit. But that's the nature of these transfers. Don't, don't expect perfection. If you want perfection, then just get the picture and glue it down in your book as a collage. But if you're looking for an effect, I think this is a beautiful effect when you do the transfers. I just love them. I don't do them enough, but I really do like them. Okay. Now, on the ones that I did here, most of them, I just put them straight onto this. Um, so, you know, the text comes through. But if you don't want that look, you can paint your background, let it dry completely, and then just do the same process. And it will look just like it did on the magazine, you know, because the text won't be there. Okay, so this is working out pretty good. Now you need to get the pulp out. And there's a fine line between getting all that pulp up and going to the layer of your page and then just exposing everything. So you have to determine when you want to quit <laughs> and when you want to keep going. You can see how I'm still picking up. Quite a bit of pulp there. Oops, gone too far now. Okay, so when you can't get it all up, it's going to become foggy because your paper is going to dry and you're not going to be able to see through it. Now there's a couple of things you can do. I mean, if you like that look, then don't even worry about it. But a couple of things you can do to um, lessen that is if you have like... Um, like linseed oil, you can put baby oil and you know wipe it off and it keeps it pretty pretty clear. What I found that I like to use in these particular cases, let me let that dry a little bit more and I'll, I'll give, I won't put any, uh, take any more off just to give you an example of what I'm talking about. Hold on, let it dry as much as possible. Can't put the lid in this water. Okay, let it dry as much as possible. Okay, 
And then what I do is you can get any kind of wax. I have Daddy Vans wax, but you can use any kind of natural beeswax that's out there in the market. And it will help cover up that cloudiness. And, you know, other ways, you know, you could put maybe some matte medium or try Mod Podge or something, but then you're going to have that possibility of all this stuff sticking to the other pages. And you know with this wax, it's not going to stick to other pages. And then you have that finish. I think it's pretty cool myself. Okay, so this is Mod Podge with uh, Glossy Magazine, and we put the Mod Podge directly to the picture and directly to the page. Now, we did some others. Let me find them. They're here. I know they are. Okay, here. Now this is the one that I had the black and white photocopy that was just done on my home computer. I don't have a laser print, so it was just an inkjet um, copy on regular copy paper, black and white. Then we put some paint on the pages, and we put some paint on the uh, print. And then of course put it face down, let it dry and came in and I, I like the look. I think it looks very, you know, urban. Um, I just, I really like it a lot. Um, so again, this is acrylic, paint, inkjet, and copy paper. And I really like how that looks. And then you can come back in and you can stamp or you can fill in the paint or you know whatever you want to do or even write because it's so transparent the paint on an inkjet the colors are really different but the look I like both the looks you could just write on that but I think that's a really cool look and then I did another one same thing. I put the acrylic paint down <clears throat> and I had a glossy um, magazine and I put the paint on the magazine, put that down, and that's the look that this gave, which I really think this one's cool too. So you can see the difference in the inks are a little more intense, obviously, if it's from either a magazine or if it's something that's been laser printed. as opposed to just a photocopy equally. So you have that look, you have this look, and then on the other book, let me find that one. This one here, and if you remember, this was the one that we did with the fluid matte medium and it was only on there for like maybe two minutes and peeled it up and that's how this one comes out. So there's not too too much difference between this one and this one, except this is instant gratification. <laughs> you can get this done in a couple of minutes. And this one, you have to wait overnight. All right. Now, the other one that I told you about, hold on one second, was the decal that we were going to do. Let's see how that came out. I had 
it's soaking in some water. Remember it was the eyeball. And we just have to come in. Peel that off. Look how easy that comes off. Super, super easy. Of course, it's translucent. Let me clean it off a little bit. Can, I don't think there's a real big difference what side you use. Um, this one gives it a matte look to it, and this one gives it a glossy look to it, depending on what you're looking for. But there again is another way of doing a transfer. So, I hope that these examples will help you experiment in your own journal these different techniques. Whether you use a magazine, whether you print something out, um, you know, it all depends on what you have and what you enjoy working with. Just practice. They're all going to have a different kind of look depending on the paper that you use, the kind of paper that you put it on. Um, the materials that you use to adhere it, it the variable, it, they're never going to come out exactly the same. So that's what's fun about art. You never know what it's going to do and um, you can adapt it to whatever look you go for. Okay, so try these techniques in your altered art book and see what you come up with and be sure and post it in the group. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And um, I'm planning already for next month. <laughs> so if you have also if you have any requests of things that you're not quite sure how to do, maybe we can fit it in in the coming months and we can put it in um, our art journals because if you have the question some others might have the same question. Alrighty, have fun.